YouTube and what is up? This is Flock here from Feb Gaming, and today we are BAM! We are playing the arcade games, as you can see. And this is the new lobby for it. This is a high pixel game type, by the way, for everyone who subscribed to me that plays MCSG. It is a new game type, and it is currently in beta testing as you can see which unfortunately means only VIPs and up can play it so if you're not VIP or up or have donor of any kind on Hypixel unfortunately you can't play it just yet but you will eventually be able to pretty soon I'd say but if you are a VIP or MVP or just want to see me play the arcade games on Hypixel and see what it's all about then this video is probably for you <laughs> um, so, just before I get into the video, I know I haven't uploaded a video in a while, which is why I'm making this video today, and I didn't plan to do this video at all. In fact, Arcade Games was actually released just this just this morning from when I'm recording this video right now, so it is very new, and I have been playing it a lot today, and I think I'm reasonably good at it, I'd say, especially this one type of game type, which I'm going to play right now. In fact, I'll get straight into a game here. As you can see, this is the board that you pick games on, and I'm going to go into Party Games 1. And there are only actually three game types at the moment, and as you can see, everyone in the lobby is, of course, a donor, because you have to be a donor to get in. And, yeah, there are only three game types at the moment. They are going to release more very soon I think. I'm not sure if it's going to come out of like be released to the public before they release the new game types but I guess we'll find that out. So anyway today I am going to be showing you some tips and tricks on Party Games 1. If you do have VIP and do want to play this then you can this video will be very useful to you because you can use these tips to get started on playing these arcade games and as you can see I'm already in a game and this one is called pig fishing. So as you can see, there aren't too many tips I can give to this one. The only major tip I can give is to keep on chucking your rod into the middle and just before it lands on the pig, drag it in. And you're just going to want to drag as many pigs back to your thing as possible. Oh no, I actually got a pig up here with me, that's never happened before. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm just dragging them in, I'm just jumping around for no reason whatsoever. I'm missing a lot of pigs. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna get this one. Oh, no, didn't make it. But anyway, if you drag enough pigs over, like, as you can see, the super bacon one is here. You can just drag them in like that. And the super bacon ones actually activate the pistons for everyone else, making it a little harder for their pigs to go in, just for a little bit. And as you can see, I'm lagging a little bit in this game. It is high pixel and it's not perfect for AU connection, but you just gotta make do with what you have, I guess. So, as you can see, it is worth getting these super bacon pigs. They are pretty good. As you can see, I just got another in, and I'm just clearing out all the pigs by my thing, pushing them all into the edge. And you actually win this game type by getting to a certain score. So, as you can see on the right hand side, I am currently at eight pigs in my hopper, and I'm just gonna get these two pigs in here. Oh, my fishing rod's going a bit laggy. There we go. I think you just have to get to a score of 10, so I just need one more pig. And this pig will do it for me, maybe, if he wants. <laughs> he does not want to get... He doesn't want to... Okay, I'll get this pig. That one's not cooperating. Yeah, okay, that one. Yep. And as you can see, you just need a score of 10. So I think there are about 7 game types in this, and... This one may be familiar to a lot of you, it's just animal slaughter. Again, there's not too many tips or advice I can give on this one, besides just do not hit the ones with the negative signs above their head. That is very bad. I don't know actually how many points it deducts or what it does, but I know that whenever I've hit one, I've lost. So it does do a lot, it's not just negative one point or something. So as you can see, I'm just going around collecting all the points. and. You do want to go after the pigs and the cows. The cows are actually pretty easy to kill in this, as long as you just make sure they don't go away. And that chicken has a negative point. Do not want to hit it. I'm just going to go after this cow. No, he got it for me. Okay, I'm just going to go after this cow here. And unfortunately, I'm losing this by a long shot. Um, 
Unfortunately, I'd, I'd have to say this is the biggest game type for lag um, out of all the party games, 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 um, on Hypixel have been released, which kind of sucks for me and anyone else who's AU or has just bad connection in general, I guess. I actually won that, I don't know how I ended up winning that. But yeah, that's probably one of the worst for lag. And we are on to this one. This is one of my favorites, I'd have to say. So right now you can see down the bottom I'm on the yellow team, which means I have to shoot this yellow wall here. So by shooting the yellow wall, your minecart actually goes forward. And unfortunately, the yellow wall is like really far away now. But I'm still managing to hit it, and you do not want to hit any of the other colors. Otherwise, it slows your minecart way down again. And I don't know how that guy is getting so far in front, but as you can see, I haven't actually hit another colour yet besides yellow. It's going very well, and I'm actually going fast enough right now not to hit any more wool, and I can... Oh, this guy's actually flying past me right now. <laughs> um, so I probably should hit some more wool, as you can see I'm trying, but he did beat me in the end. But yeah, eventually you get to a certain speed where you don't have to hit any more colours, and you can pretty much just ride it out till the end. Okay, straight into the next game type. This is called Volcano, as you can see. It's similar to one on Mineplex, I think it is, where the blocks fall away. However, on the Mineplex one, I think it's a Mineplex, the blocks actually fall away from underneath where you're standing. So, this one's pretty easy, not gonna lie. The blocks just fall away randomly, so you can just stand in one spot, not even do anything. Just, if a block turns um, yellow underneath you, you might just want to walk to the square beside you. Just do it, do it in third person like you could see I was doing there, you get a nice clear view of it. And once it gets down to the last few blocks, see how I'm on the last white one, I just want to wait till it's red and then just jump. And you can see I won because I was the last one oh, to hit the lava I guess. So yeah, pretty much it's all about timing with that one. It's quite a uh, like easy one to win if you know how to do it right. So, Avalanche is the next one, and there is a technique for this, which I'm doing now, and I'll see if you guys can pick up on it, but as you can see, the Avalanche comes down with snowballs everywhere, and if you guys didn't pick up on the technique from me just doing that, I'll explain it after this Avalanche goes away. So basically what you want to do is go in third person, and when you go under a thing, you'll notice that your third person screen obviously gets stuck under the block which means that you are directly under the block so you want to pretty much look straight down when you're doing this and I can instantly tell that I'm under this block and I'm safe from the avalanche and it is a really good technique it's won me I'd say like all my games using this technique I have tried looking up but it's a lot harder and if people get in your road um, that can mess you up so this technique's good because um, pretty much see how there's three people under me. If I was looking up right now, as you can see, I cannot see the block. So, doing this technique is definitely a lot better. And there's actually another interesting thing I found out about this game type. Once it gets to wave 18, as you can see on the right hand side, I'm currently at wave 8. So, I'm going to hopefully try and get to wave 18 so I can show you guys it. Um, I'm not sure if these guys will survive till then, or if I will, but... <laughs> Hopefully I'll get to show you guys what the technique is. And wow, these spawned a fair way away. That's okay. Um, they just spawn randomly. Eventually the platforms go down, decrease, as you can see. It's only me and one other guy. We might not make it a wave 18 at this rate. Um, depending on how good this guy is, I guess. And me. <laughs> um, it looks like he's not... Oh, he just made that one. And up to wave 15 so close they can actually spawn on the sides here which is a bit strange but that's okay and I don't think I'm gonna make it to this one <laughs> okay I actually did make it to that one but unfortunately he died so at wave 18 I'll just explain it you can actually punch players so I didn't really show you guys but you can't punch players up until wave 18 and then you can hit them out from underneath the platform so not many people know about that which is a pretty interesting technique and with this one guys, as you can see, I'm just in third person, hoeing the grass, pretty much making a lot of straight lines, and you don't want people to cut you off like this guy's trying to do right now. You pretty much want to cut him off, which I've done pretty well, but unfortunately I'm trapped. 
so I'm just going to try and get as much area as I can right now. And if you can kind of see how it works, it's a bit hard to explain, but you have to pretty much fill in the block right next to yours. So if you try and fill in any old blocks, it just won't work. Um, so what you want to do is you want to pretty much trap people, box them off, and as you can see, this guy's trying to do to me. Um, and you want to pretty much just get as many blocks down as you can. You don't want it to be neat or anything, you just want to go full out. And I have actually been trapped here, which kind of sucks. So that's actually all the blocks I can fill in. And as you can see, I came second because I got cut off a bit. I think this guy with the orange one. Okay, so this is another game type, straight into it. What you want to do right at the start is go up these ladders. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it in time because it's actually a bit slow. As you could see, all the bats spawned right in the center there. I didn't make it in time, unfortunately. But if you make it up the ladders quick enough and jump into the center, you can just... Unfortunately, these game types, by the way, has a lot of clicking. So if you can hear my mouse in the background, um, I'm sorry about that. But these game types do involve a lot of clicking. Um, so basically there's bonus bats in this game type too, which I think give you about 5 points per one. I'm not 100% sure, but you definitely want to go for them if you can. As you can see, I'm just going around the outside, because the bats generally get stuck on things on the outside. They're a lot easier to hit. And there is actually a double jump, which I'll just show you guys. You see there's a double jump. And that can be really handy to get to like bonus bats. As you can see, that one's up there. He's not... <laughs> in the way <laughs> and I think someone else got it in the end so I'm not going too well this game I probably won't win this one yeah oh that was actually really close I think it was it was three bats off the top position okay I think this is getting down to the last one so this is boat racing as you can see I'm already at the front of the line and you want to pretty much go in third person, definitely. It's a lot easier to do this in third person. And you just want to control your boats. You want to dodge the logs. And unfortunately, this guy's ran into me. And I don't know what happened there. See, unfortunately, that's just a glitch with this game type. I'm going to run into this. No, I'm not. <laughs> unfortunately, there's a lot of glitches with this particular game type. I've noticed um, it just randomly pushing you back to the start for no reason. And right there, I just hit the edge. I should have went back to the start but it's just glitched me up and as you can see it finally put me back to the start but um this yeah this game type is definitely the glitchiest out of all of them I'd say on one of my runs actually it didn't even render properly and we just had to wait the timer out okay so I somehow have three wooden planks I'm guessing that was from the boat one but um this is a trampoline game type as you guys can probably see and basically you just want to collect these blocks um, and you definitely want to get these boosters see this booster right here because it will spring you up and then you can grab the plus tens which I missed I failed incredibly hard at getting I'm gonna get this booster and we're gonna see how it goes again oh gosh I got the booster but I definitely missed the plus tens I was not in a good position to get one and um, so I'm just going to get some plus threes. And there's another booster. I really want to show you guys what it does. And there we go. I got it. So I'm going to get this plus ten. <laughs> I missed it. I'm failing so bad at this one. Um, but yeah, those plus tens are really good. As you can see, these yellow ones are plus three and the other ones are plus one. And yeah, if I had to get that plus ten, <laughs> that would have probably won me the game. But yeah, that's it. That's all the game types there was. And um... As you can see, I came first and earned 1,025 coins, 100 gil coins, and 5 experience, which is pretty good. Um, it's definitely a lot of coins. Um, I'm liking playing party games lately because it'll, it's the one that earns you the most coins. As you can see, I have 21k coins. You earn about 1k coins per game, and you can earn up to 2k if you go really, really well. And there's a lobby up here, and I'm not, <laughs> I have no idea how to get into it. I've been looking around for a little while, but I really don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, that's it. As, as I said before, I didn't really plan to make this video today. I, ha I actually have other videos planned, but they seem to be taking a lot longer than I thought they would. 
So I'm still working on them and I will get them out eventually. But I figure I may as well make this video in the meantime, help you guys out hopefully with some tips and tricks to some of those game types, even if it's just watching me play so you, know, you guys know how to play it or you just want to see what the party games is like if you don't have VIP or MVP. And I have talked a lot this whole time, very quickly. I hope you got all that information and stuff. But yeah, there's definitely more things coming soon on MCSG and Hypixel I have planned out. But yeah, as I said before, they are taking longer than expected. But yeah, that's about it for this video. Um, as um, I just show you guys what the game types are, there's another Ender Spleef there which is pretty interesting, it's kind of like Bow Spleef, but it's a bit more in-depth, and there's Creeper Attack, which I believe Crow done a video on. So, um, yeah, you can check head to his channel, check that out, I guess, if you want to see what that's all about. And there is a shop in this, and you are actually able to exchange these arcade coins for coins in other servers. So, that will definitely be very interesting once it's released, I'm not sure how that's going to go down, but I would highly recommend playing party games right now because I believe it gives you a, probably more coins than it should at the moment, and they're probably going to um, nerf it down a bit um, when public when it's released to the public. So if you are a VIP, definitely go onto that now. And I'm going to stop talking now, and I will definitely make those videos up those upcoming videos all. I'll let you know more details soon, soonish. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. That's all for this video, and have a good day. All these